good morning folks it's gators outdoor adventures um thank y'all for checking us out uh, we appreciate it don't forget to hit that subscribe button we are going back to woodbury um that's a, a creek that runs off a of little pd and big pd river where they they meet um we're gonna be fishing off a, a creek that runs into little pd and then little pd runs right there in the big pd river so um it's uh woodbury it's wma land you can hunt fish all down in here um now the hunting season now has dates that you can hunt or whatever i believe the hog season um used to be open all the time but i think the season's on it now i'm not sure on that um but uh i hunt private land that's in here for hogs and deer but i'm gonna tell you folks there's some good fishing in here. You got uh, one, two, three, three landings before you get to Big Pity River down this dirt road. Um, so check it out. It's good fishing. Um, we're gonna go today. We're gonna mess with the cracker for sure. We're gonna hit the brim and the shell cracker. I forgot the crickets. It's fine. I got my green worm, so we good. Um, also, I'm gonna be trying out some new rods. That um, we're probably going to introduce to the to the market uh, some crappy rods, brim rods, stuff like that. But um, we'll see how that goes. We're tweaking, messing with it a little bit. So uh, we'll see how it goes today. We're going to be switching up. So um, it should be a pretty good day. Water's up, a lot of fresh water. So who knows what's going to happen. But we'll know here shortly. Y'all stay tuned, we're going to have some good footage coming up today. Mm. Ah. Well, good morning folks, we're just getting started. We pops crappy jig, trying out these new rods. We're gonna be introducing to the to the world. Who knows? Today might be another catch, clean, cook. But I can tell you what, we gotta do better than this. Um, pretty fish, pretty fish, no doubt. Um, beautiful fish, but uh. We uh, pop crappy jig in it. Those of you who don't know, that's pop crappy jig. They will catch crappy for sure. But this one going back. But anyway, we uh, we're gonna come out here. We're gonna see what we can do with it today. We're going to uh, brim and shell cracker a little bit. Mainly going to target them big black crappy. So we're hitting grass beds, brush piles, lay downs, trees, whatever. Whatever looks like it might be holding a crappy, we're going to check it out. So y'all stay tuned. It's on today. All right, let's drop, drop that pop crappy jig down right there. I think I figured out how they want it. We got a little bit of a current. So that current, I dragged that bait up under that, that grass there, causing them to hit it. But they only hit it in, there it goes, they only hitting it in that one spot right there. So there's something there that they liking. It's holding them. There he goes. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! Mmm! That was a much nicer fish. Much nicer. They right up under that grass. Oh, it got Lee. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We'll get him one way or the other. We'll get him. 
that's the first thing we got the color figured out we're gonna get it we're gonna get it I know he's in there we're gonna get him he shouldn't let me know he was in there he's right in there They ain't hitting it hard though. There he goes. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> it's gonna be a crappy day. <laughs> Pops crappy gig up in there, baby. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. It's gonna be a great day, folks. Y'all stick around. We're gonna have some more of this here coming up. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's drop it back down there again. That's what I tell you, folks. Don't know. Uh, you catch one, two. There's more in there. I promise you. I promise you. There's some more in there. Just got to get in there and get them. got to remember where you caught them at because that's where they hit. I think we caught him right in there. Y'all see, I just picked a little old grass, a little old patch of grass up here against the, against the trees. I caught four fish out of this thing. Go a little deeper and see what we get into down there. Might not can fish it deeper. I don't know. Hmm. Might be some hangs down there when you get deeper. Tell you what, if this water wasn't running. Mm -hmm. There we go. God almighty knows. Whoo! I might have to check that hook. That was a nice slab right there. Mm. 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 That was a nice slab. Nice slab. Folks, what I'm doing is I'm in three to eight foot of water all day. Jigging this grass, taking my time, finding a hole, dropping it down in there. Come on, baby, where you at? Jigging it, holding it I still, lost one. trying to figure out what works, changing up the depths. Um, my next video, I'll have more of the fishing and not teaching. You know, I'll have some teaching in the next video mm -hmm. as well. 
but I just took this video and just used it mainly for showing you what I'm doing, talking to you a little bit. Listen, this is the way to go to catch fish when you can't catch them any other way. Uh, it just, regardless of where you're at, what lake you're fishing, if you got trees laying over in the water or grass, lily pads, um, structure, work it. Work it slow, see how they want it. Remember how you caught the first one and you can roll with it from then. Um, I appreciate you, thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a little idea how to get out here and do this for those of you that didn't know how to do it or know that you could do it. Um, we pass up a lot of fish every fishing trip when we're going fishing. So you know, this kind of helps you see grass. Hey, it ain't going to hurt to try it. But uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Got that grass coming off the bank ends out right here got them tree stumps them roots on them cypresses come out they don't go straight down they come out so they're gonna be fish right in here we just gotta gotta find out exactly where and see if we can't get one of them to bark And folks, if you want to be successful, river fishing or lake fishing, lake fishing is the same way. Hit grass beds. Hit grass beds any time of the year. And carry you four or five different colors. Now the hair jigs is going to be better because they're going to last longer. And they're going to represent some type of bug. And chances are that bug swims in that river or lake. The color that it is. Depending on the month. But crappy. Shell cracker and brim can be caught like this. Just like this right here. Jigging this grass. And it's gonna pay off. It's gonna be successful. If you'll have patience. You gotta have patience. And if you can work on your patience and have patience and hit all these little grass beds like this, you will go home with your limit. Now, I ain't saying you come out here and flood stage it flooding, but you ain't going to see much grass anyway if it's flooded. So, you're going to have to kind of know where the grass is at. And catch them in. But you can come out here and flood stage and catch them. You have to get up in swamps. There's some places you can go. I am real surprised that I've only got two bikes right here. And not every grass, grass pile has what it offers. And I could be, you know, a little color off. I doubt it. Because I done caught, you know, several already. And if you're catching bass, you're in the game. You got the right color for the day. <clears throat> but you fishing this green and brown grass, fish with green and brown bait. Keep working the depths. Don't be scared to deep them up. 
God, don't be scared to go shallow. I mean, I, you know, you get barely, they might be barely under this grass. That's the thing with these fish. They might be sitting right under the grass. You get the depth figured out, you pretty well got it knocked. When I tell you I can catch a fish in here, I can catch a fish in this grass. This grass piled right here. I will find one somewhere. That will give me a second chance. <clears throat> but I ain't going to stay here and fish it. I, you know, I got somewhere I want to go. I still got a ways. But I'm just experimenting, checking different stuff that I don't never fish. Just to show my viewers that, you know, you don't have to go to your favorite spot. Because all this stuff we're fishing today, right now, this is all new stuff for me. I, I hadn't never fished any of this. No, I've always passed it up. I like going, you know, I already know where the grass is at that I'm going to fish. But I'm just doing a video on how to. And it's pet. Oh, Lord, what a snake. Great day. I didn't see that snake in there. Ah. Oh, y'all probably can't see that snake sitting right there. There he is. Mm. He ain't bothering me yet. He's sitting right up there being pretty. There ain't one kind of snake you like to see, folks. Anybody guess what that is? That's a dead snake. That's the kind you like to see, but that one ain't dead. And those of you that can't see him, he is right there, right there, right there. Whew! Give me the, give me the heebie-jeebies looking at that thing, being in this one-man boat. But as of today, right this minute, I've never had one get in the boat, so. I think they're just as scared as you or you are them. Folks, what you don't want to do, crappy fishing in, in, in grass beds, if you're catching crappy in them, uh, them grass beds, let me tell you a little secret. Don't, I repeat, don't throw this fish back in there where you're fishing. Go him out of ways. He will carry that scent. He will, I repeat, he will carry that scent back down there in that grass and you won't catch no more fish i've done it i've been there i've done that i've made that mistake several times before learning what was going on so 
you know that's just another tip don't don't if you're catching them little crappy or whatever don't throw them back that right back where you caught them throw them out of ways um that way that scent your scent ain't going straight back down you know because if you don't think you're putting scent on that fish he put scent on you just that quick you putting scent on him so just keep that in mind as well so oh, that don't work well it does and it messes up some good fishing for you so you know if you you were to do that and see see where you you know they quit biting then check that out see if that might be be the problem because that might just be the problem there we go now folks when i tell you and this ain't for everybody jigging this grass bed and stuff but i can tell you this if you're having a hard day catching crappy the way you like to fish then pick your jigging pole up and go hit the trees and the lay downs and uh catch some crappy But it pays off. It pays off. I promise you. I wouldn't be telling you and showing you if it didn't. Because I don't want to waste my time nor yours. See, I could pick this uh, grass bed I'm fishing now. See, I done caught two off of it. See, I could pick it and get in it and just jig it. I mean, just jig it all. And there ain't no telling what I catch out of it. But I ain't. I'm just hitting. Because again, I ain't made it to where I want to go, but if we keep this up, I ain't going to make it today. But I'm fishing stuff I've never fished. I've always passed up because I wanted to go where what I thought was the better area and the better grass. You know, a lot much more grass and neater looking. And come to find out, you don't pass this up either, even though I do. I mean, it's just my point being proven that stuff that nobody wants to fish is holding fish. That's where your fish is at. So... Don't pass up nothing. All right, folks. When I tell you that there is nothing to this, ride down the side of the river, middle of the river, in the back of the river, the lake, out in the middle of the lake, find some grass. Just little patches of grass, big as your boat. Find a tree laying down in the edge of the river. Anything. Any, anything laying down, sticking up out the water, or if you were fishing today and come out there tomorrow and there'll be grass floating, hung up somewhere, fish it. Check it out and fish it. Because there might just be some crappy that's already took to it. There's crappy. Just figuring out the color, figuring out the, how they want it, and you'll catch fish. There's no doubt you're gonna catch fish. So get out there and enjoy it.